2023 has been a fantastic year for Forza Horizon 5. 2024 is about to begin. What can we expect for that year? Is it going to be Forza Horizon 5's last year? There is some evidence to suggest that. Let's talk about that along with all the latest news and bits and bobs. Now before we do, very quickly, as you may have noticed recently, I am giving away a ton of car pack codes. Every time there's a new car pack, Turn 10 gift me some codes to give away to you guys. Now, over the course of the past six months, you'll be very surprised at how many people People just do not claim their codes even if they've won. So on screen right now I have a list of what codes I have left for each respective car pack. I have four codes left of the Fast and Furious car pack, I have a code left for the Forza Motorsport Premium Edition, I'm still giving these away so once again make sure you subscribe and go to the comment section, write your gamer tag but also write what code you would like a chance to win. Do you want a Fast and Furious car pack code? Do you want the motorsport code? Which ones do you want? And I will pick a load of people to get these remaining codes. Bearing in mind these are Xbox codes only, not Steam. And for the love of God, please reply to my message if you win. I want to give these codes away. So, on to the first topic of today. Well, over on Twitter, what updates have we got in the Forza Horizon 5 world? We had a hot fix this week for Horizon 5. It was an update fixing issues with the Luca de Caret something progression, crashes and other bugs that surfaced with the Winter Wonderland updates. That rolled out, we can see the full changelog for that very hotfix there, so if you're having that issue that is fixed. Now Playground Games have announced that Forza Horizon 5 has been named as one of the BAFTA's top 60 best video games of 2023, as well as being on the long list for BAFTA's awards evolving game category for 2024. Forza Horizon 5 is obviously one of the best games in terms of what kind of content we get after release. Just think back to Forza Horizon 5 releasing and how much stuff has been added since then. You've got to appreciate it. A quick draft of everything that's been added is right here. So it's no surprise that they have been nominated for them. Forza Horizon 5 came out in 2021, I think, and it's on the best games for 2023. So it must be going good. On a very similar topic to how well Forza Horizon 5 is doing, the financial statements have been sort of released for their 2022 year. Now, it's a little bit cheeky looking at this kind of stuff because it's not really any of our business looking into Playground Games' financial statements statements but it might tell us a little bit potentially about what we can expect for the future. A few people have deep dive into all of these numbers and found that Playground Games employee count grew from 316 to 358 in 22. Not a massive increase but a respectable one. We have no idea if that has increased even further for 23. I can presume it has. One of the interesting things that somebody pointed out, now I am not an expert with this type of stuff, it just, we're just following the wording here. It says the company Playground Games continues to perform its plan and is monitored by its holding company by way of a three year rolling plan. Now we know that every content update that Horizon 5 gets is planned a long time in advance. You know, they probably have the next year's worth of update drafted at least and set in stone. The wording of a three were the wording of a three year plan is what's very interesting. Forza Horizon 5 came out at the end of 2021. If we can presume that the three year plan started then, it will end in 2024. Now we are not predicting that we are getting Forza Horizon 6 in 2024. At this point, we're going to guess that it's 2025. What we did find for Forza Horizon 4 is Forza Horizon 4 stopped getting major updates the year before Horizon 5 came out. If Forza Horizon 5 stops getting updates at the end of its three year plan, which is the end of next year, it adds up quite perfectly with Horizon 6 coming out in 2025. I do sometimes wonder if GTA 6 has thrown a spanner in the works for when Horizon 6 comes out because GTA 6 is going to be such a huge game. It's going to break the game industry in a way I could say. I don't know if many games will want to release around whenever that's going to come out and that is 2025. But in my opinion, everything is adding up to Horizon 6 coming out in 2025, which means next year, 2024, may just be the last year we get major Horizon 5 updates. Now I'm talking towards the end of next year, so we've got January, February, all the way up to December, more than likely, of good big content filled updates, so there's plenty more to come. What do you guys think of this? Are we coming towards the end of the cycle in 24? Now when we talk about big content updates, what can we expect? 
Well, there are still, to this day, loads of things that have been leaked um, and have proven sort of evidence that updates have been in the works that we still haven't got yet. We have the drag racing update. There was clear evidence of that. We've yet to see that to this day. We have the eliminator update, the big eliminator update that was potentially adding duos to eliminator. Um, exclusive Illuminati cars. That was quite a hefty update that was leaked and we've still not really seen that. I am starting to sort of lean towards the side that maybe those two updates, the Drag Racing one and Illuminati, have maybe been cancelled or have been replaced by something that's already come out. In my opinion, the launch control update that we got a long time ago now, that would have been the ideal update for the Drag Racing to come out as well. So I don't think we're going to get that but my point is, all of these leaked updates, all of these leaked cars, the leaked car list that's on screen right now, if we are going to get any of these, if they are going to come to the game, any of the leaks, it's going to be in 2024. That is my prediction because I just don't see how we're still going to be getting massive updates in 25. After all, this is the amount of stuff that has been added to Horizon 5 since launch over the past two years. So if you cut this in half, that's kind of what we've got left to come. So we've got probably plenty more stories, over a hundred new cars, there's a lot more to come. The next instalment we know is the February update, Lunar New Year, because we already know what the January update is. It's the Community Choice update. It was a little bit of a boring one, but we've got to give the devs a chance to relax. So this is the February update. We'll do a video in January a bit more in depth on this, but we're getting new cars, a new collectible, Stadium Drift Arena and Dragon Drone Show. Now, very briefly, what this could be. Lunar New Year is, I think, the Chinese kind of version of a new year if you go to google and have a search at lunar new year you can see the kind of vibe that this usually goes for we can expect this update to be heavily focused towards something like this so the new collectible might be that sort of red little lantern you can see there um stadium drift arena might be very i feel like it might be quite tokyo kind of drift style i don't think we've had a drift arena in the stadium before and then dragon drone show once again a dragon drone show is another popular thing that you can google and see images of i'm sure we can expect something extremely similar to this over in the i'm going to guess the stadium it's bound to be somewhere near the stadium so that's what we're going to get for lunar new year we can't have a guess at what cars we're getting Hopefully, Torben Tuesday comes back next year. Fingers crossed to see that return. But that is the end of 2023. This may be my last video for Horizon 5 for this year. Once again, guys, get commenting for these codes. I'm, I'm desperate to give away these codes to people who will actually use them. That is everything for today, guys. Make sure to leave a like if you've enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already for more content just like this. And I'll see you all later. Merry Christmas.